Joe's Garage, Joe speaking, how can I help you? Now slow down. You're saying your AC doesn't work? Yeah, I know, we just fixed it. Alright, we'll bring it in. I now pronounce you man and warranty. Oh! That's it, I need to get some AC training. Hi. As you can tell, I'm not an actor. But I think on some level we can all relate to Joe the Mechanic. One way or another. Particularly about realizing the need for training. Coming from the tire and quick lube service management, one of the many challenges is on-the-job training generally due to personnel turnover. When it comes to air conditioning, the tech needs knowledge of both AC service and the $10,000 worth of equipment required to do air conditioning. Plus, don't forget about the 609 certification. The Stage 2 Mobile HVAC Trainer is the fastest and most efficient way to convey all aspects of the motor vehicle's HVAC system. I've had tremendous success with personnel just with the basic 4-hour course. Main Power Key Switch The trainer features a main power key switch to deter unauthorized usage. Operator can remove the key switch from the on position. Handheld Controller Higher engine RPMs and airflow across the condenser dramatically affect the HVAC system. The start-stop controller, in addition to engine idle RPM, three more presets to increase the motor RPM on the fly. Also incorporated in the controller is the 30 mile an hour mobility simulation mode. A high capacity fan at the condenser mimics mobility. The 15 foot controller cable allows operator a vantage point of 360 degrees around the complete trainer. Engine coolant. Aspects of the engine cooling system are utilized as stage two trainers fully equipped with heater and defrost modes. Coolant temperature can be monitored by a digital gauge located at the front console. Inlet and outlet coolant lines to the heater core are also transparent. A conventional radiator cap and filler neck are used to demonstrate a cooling system leak test procedure. A low coolant warning pilot light is located at the front console. Plenum. There are numerous cutouts at the dashboard and plenum. Hidden high resolution LEDs allow visual of evaporator, heater core, blower fan, resistors, blend door actuator and ducting to registers. The trainer provides a complete view of blend door actuation, hot cold mix, defrost, vent, floor air and outside to inside air intake. Hydraulic flow. To expose the raw essence of air conditioning theory, four color-coded transparent lines were incorporated to monitor system flow, including the orifice tube housing and accumulator. Suction discharge lines are equipped with digital thermometers and analog gauges. The ultraviolet LEDs enhance visual of refrigerant flow and oil migration. Temperature, relative humidity, display, and recorder. Plenum temperature and relative humidity can be monitored and compared against ambient data displayed on a large LCD. Minimum and maximum data is recorded automatically and with a push of a button can be displayed or reset on the fly. Voltage Amp Draw Dock Station The air conditioning electrical diagnostics can be easily obtained with the use of a volt amp meter connected to the volt amp draw dock station. Vacuum Gauge the manifold vacuum gauge is used to monitor vacuum levels necessary to activate plenum blend doors. Condensation Containment Unit is equipped with a 1 gallon condensation tank with an 80% tank full warning pilot light at console. 